I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I think this is a great way to practice decision making, so if you have a set, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed and built into walls. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we'll look at everybody's hand and figure out which category to play. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have ooze, dragons, two, three, four, three, four, three, six. There's some consecutive run possibilities here. There's some three, six, nine possibilities here, but we also have like number potential. We have all the threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we did two, three, four, five, we'd have six. If we did three, six, nine, we have five. So I think we'll take three, six, nine off the table. I think we can be between consecutive run and like numbers. Let's give up on the wins. Focus on consecutive run and like numbers with dragons and we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass west, because I don't want to get left with east and west together, because there's a hand with east and west. Let's do that. So like numbers with threes or consecutive run two, three, four. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as south. Okay, for south, single, single, Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, multiple. That's going to be the strength right there. Around the nines, we can do three, six, nine, which is probably pretty strong. Look at that. Seven. Maybe something consecutive. Six, seven, eight, nine. And we have tiles we can pass, so we can just stop right there. So I'd say three, six, nine, probably or six, seven, eight, nine. So we have seven towards three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards consecutive run. So we're kind of in between and dragons can be used throughout. So we'll just keep the dragon. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Okay, for West, we have a pair of sixes. That's the strength right there. So with sixes, I see six, seven, eight, nine, or three, six, nine. Let's keep the dragons. And we have tiles to pass. So we're in between three, six, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of like here. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. We have a pair of East and a pair of Fives. East and West this year go with evens in the Wind and Dragon category. So I don't think we're going to be able to use both of those together unless we play a pair hand. Three, four, five consecutive run. Like numbers with Fives probably is the strongest potential here. Like numbers with Fives and Dragons. And if we did 
maybe a quint. Let's go ahead and discard those three. So we're ready for the Charleston. I have messed up many a solitaire. So I use this. If you wanna know where to get it, look below the video in the video description and you can download that. It just helps you keep track of where you are in the Charleston. So we're going to do the first right. East passes to south. South to west, west to north, and north to east. And we can now look at everybody's passes. So we're looking for two, three, four. We got a two. That's our first multiple, two. Let's go ahead and pass the wind. Focus on two, three, four. Maybe use dragons, not sure yet. Let's see what we can do here. We are focused on three, six, nine, and look what they got. We can give up on consecutive at this point. Three, six, nine. I don't know which one yet. There are so many that this would qualify for. Let's see, one, two, three, four, three, four different hands could be played with, oop, this one, three, six, nine with no flowers. Let's discard those and see what happens. Here we're looking for three, six, nine. We didn't get anything. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I think we're better off with three, six, nine. Oh no, I think maybe five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're in between really. Five, six, 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 seven, eight. Five, six, nine. We only have one nine. Let's give up the three and focus on consecutive run. Okay, here we've got a west now. East and west goes with greens under winds and dragons, second hand down. East and west with greens, but we have no flowers. We do have a joker that we could use for the flower. I think maybe, Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six towards like numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards winds and dragons. But we wouldn't be able to use the pair if we use two dragons. There's only one hand that uses multiple dragons. It's the fourth one down and it requires a pair of flowers, which is a gap. I would not go with a hand with a gap, lower those opportunities and go with ones that don't have gaps like numbers with fives maybe, or east and west with greens. You're always gonna have a bit of a gap at the beginning, but it fills in pretty quickly. So you wanna mitigate that and go with the one that has the strongest capability of filling in. And I think maybe like numbers or east and west with greens might fill in before news with dragons. I don't know, we'll see. We could recover from one tile given up. So if you feel like you make a mistake, don't fret because it may just come back. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next pass. We'll do across, east and west pass, and then north and south pass. We got a three and a four. Look at that, that's really nice two, three, three, four, all around. Okay, now we have to decide what to do because we have a pair and dragons. Two, three, two, three, four, red. That might work. So I'll keep the red. Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, two, three, Let's give up one of the fours. Let's give up that one. So we're not passing 
a BAM with a corresponding dragon. All right, let's see what happens. Three, six, nine, no keepers. Three, six, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. We did get a keeper for six, seven, eight, nine. Six, six, seven, five, six, five, six, six. Oh, like numbers with sixes. We have all the sixes. Pattern recognition. Look for those like number possibilities there. Let's go ahead and break this up and pass those three. Like numbers with sixes, with dragons, the concealed hand. Here we have a west, east and west with greens. Let's go ahead and give up on the fives and focus on east and west with greens. Break up that pair. Because right now we only have two discards and a very valuable tile. This is valuable because it can be used as a white dragon and a zero for year hand. So it's got a dual purpose and there's only three dragons. That's why I don't like to pass dragons unless I absolutely have to. I'd rather use them. Like here, I'm kind of working them into the hands if I can. Here, not so much because it's the wrong dragon, but it's okay to pass one at a time. All right, we're gonna do the next pass. North to west, west to south. South to east and east to north. We got a four, two, three, three, four, all three, four. We have tiles we can pass. I'm thinking two, three, four, five, if we can get a five bam or three, four, three, four, use this as joker bait, which is where you can discard one late in the game to see if someone exposes with a joker and you can take the second one and get that joker. Let's go ahead and, let's see, threes, threes. Let's go ahead and pass the three dot. Seven, east one, we don't need those. We got a seven. Oh, we're doing like numbers. Okay, we're on first left. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a green. Now, I kind of wish I had kept that five because we could maybe play a quint. Let's keep this five and see if it comes back. Okay, so that was first left. Now we're gonna do second left. East passes to north, north to south, south to west, west to east. No keepers. We're looking for three, six, nine. Sixes. We were looking for east and west with greens or the five back. All right, now we're going to do second across. So east and west pass, and then north and south pass. Four, five, ooh, we got the five. Two, three, four, five. That is probably the strongest possibility there. And I think at this point, because we have a multiple with the four, I think we could give up the red because we have two, three, four, five, or three, four, three, four, if we can get a flower and use this as joker bait. Either way, we didn't use any of these. I suppose we could do two, three with red if we get a flower and use this as joker bait but I really don't want to pass a white dragon. I'd rather pass a red. We could do two, three, four with the flower. So you don't want to have too many options. You just want the strongest potential. Three, six, nine. We got a three. Three, six, three, six, nine, nines. 
I don't think this three is going to be helpful here unless we play maybe the last one under three, six, nine. But here's our multiple. I think I'd rather focus on maybe three, six, nine with mixed suits. If we can get a flower, fourth hand down. No keepers. We got the five. I'm kind of thinking we should play a quint. And because it's a high value hand, I would risk passing the dragon. We're on last right, north to east, east to south, south to west, west to north. Okay, now we have joker bait and three tiles to pass. We have a red, white. I don't think we could use those right now in here. Let's give up the red. We were looking for sixes. That kind of came to a screeching halt right there. And here we got an east. Okay. Quint. And here we have joker bait. Or we could break it up and do a full pass for optional cross. Which is where we are now. East and west pass. And then south and north. We got a three. Not really helpful in this case. I would discard all of these, starting with the south. Use that for joker bait. Focus on two, three, four, five. No keepers there. I'd probably throw the west first, and then maybe the dragon, the one bam, and then the seven. I try to get rid of year tiles early because the biggest hand on the card uses year tiles. That would be under singles and pairs. Here we were looking for six, seven, eight, nine. It really didn't come in, but I'm not concerned because we have no gaps. No gaps at all. So I think I would throw the six for or south first and then maybe keep seven, eight consecutive run possibility. Discard these next. So here we're going for a quint. East, dragon, five. We need help here with the five, but we can quint and Kong. All we need are jokers and fives. I think I'd keep the number tiles, see if we can build up an option. Throw the, wet, uh, the green first, or green, that one. We are done with this. And we can start discarding south. <clears throat> so now we're going to draw. But first I just want to comment, all these gaps, this is for practice, playing solitaire, just to identify your discards, maybe your plan B, joker bait. But when you play the game with other people, tighten it up. Because you don't want people to see how many discards you have, let's say, or what your plan B is, or what your joker bait might be. Everybody arranges their tiles differently, but there are commonalities, and sometimes you can figure out where people are at building their hand with these gaps. So I threw a south, let's draw. There's a keeper, 369. I'm just keeping every 369. I'm not gonna pick a hand until I run out of discards. I'm just gonna gather. So we're gonna throw the west. You don't even have to go to the hand level, just stay at the category level. Let's draw four west. Four crack, we don't need that. Let's discard the south and draw four north. We're gonna hold number tiles and see if we could pair up for options. Let's discard the red dragon. And we can draw for player one, six crack. That's outside our range. So is the one. Let's discard the one. And we can draw four south. One bam, that would be joker bait. We don't need it, clearly, because we're in 369, but we can hold on to that and maybe get a joker out of it later. Let's throw the white dragon. 
and nobody wants the white dragon, so this is probably not going to be good joker bait. Sometimes people may not be ready for it, but in this case, nobody wants the white dragon. We're going to draw nine dot. Some three, six, nine potentials coming in at the moment. Three, six, nine, maybe. I think we were in that category early. Let's discard the eight dot and just see what happens. We're kind of in between. Let's draw. Now the eight dot went down for Quint. I would discard that now because there's only four of everything and we only have one joker. So that would be a good discard. There's a flower. That might be good for a potential joker switch. Let's throw the south and draw for player one. Oh, we don't need that east. And we are going to quint. When you make an exposure with a joker, put it in the middle so you know where the joker belongs. All right, we're going to discard the and draw for player one. Five crack. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. We have no jokers. I think we gave up a red dragon earlier. There is a pair hand that spans five numbers with the matching dragon. Let's give up the three dot and see what happens there. Nobody can take that, so we're going to draw. Two bam. Let's discard the seven dot. We have a one, two, three, but look at all the six nines. Try not to get distracted by suits and even suits in sequences because the, the strength is the multiple, not the suit. Sometimes they coincide, but more times than not, they don't. So let's draw seven dot. There's consecutive run really coming in strong here. Six, seven, eight, nine. We really don't need the four. Usually when you're in mixed suits, four numbers in a range is gonna give you the greatest flexibility. So the four crack was a little outside the range for six, seven, eight, nine. Let's draw. Joker. Oh, did we need that badly? We need one more tile there. Let's discard the eight dot, which was previously thrown, and draw four east. Okay, that was a needed tile too. Nobody wanted the white, so we're gonna toss that and draw for south. Flower, that might be useful. Let's discard the two bam. Let's draw four west. One crack, terrible. Drawing four north. Five bam. Okay, the flower, I want to keep that. Let's discard the four dot. I think we're strong enough with the joker and the five now. We just need one more tile to get set. So let's come down here and draw. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can give up this other white and then the six later. Consecutive run or two, three, four, five. Let's draw. Discard. Drawing for west. Flower, that might become useful. Let's discard the five crack. And they're not ready. They're gonna need another joker. One dot. Drawing for east. Five bam. All right, we got two multiples now. I think we can go ahead and commit to two, three, four, five, and get rid of these. Two, three, four, five, all multiples. So the five crack was tossed. Let's discard that. And this player is cringing inside. They're gonna need two more jokers. Let's, let's keep the five and see if we could swap it out. So we're gonna draw now for south. Nine bam, that is a keeper. Three, six, nine, maybe with Kongs of nines. Uh, let's see, this would be the third hand down, or we could do three, six, nine with flowers. 
we could do 369 in mixed suits. Either way, we don't need the ones. Let's discard that one and leave our options open. Drawing for west. Three dot. Okay, we're in between 369 and 6789. I think we could probably give up the dragons and not choose because we're in between. Let's discard the red dragon and draw. Actually, we just got through the second wall. Everybody should know at least which category they're in. Here we have a quint. Here we have a quint that's in trouble, actually. Here we have 369 or 6789. 369, consecutive run. And we're one, from, one away from being set here. So everybody's good to go at the moment. There's a couple trouble spots, actually. We're gonna draw up here. We need more number tiles for options. Let's keep the nine and discard the flower. And I don't think anybody is ready for a flower. We're gonna draw four dot. Let's draw seven bam. Nobody wanted the one. Let's throw that and draw four west. Three crack, three, six, nine. Let's discard the green and stick with options for three, six, nine and six, seven, eight, nine. And here we're gonna Kong. And this could be any number. So, oh, let's see, this is a challenge because there are two five cracks out. We're gonna need at least two jokers. These are singles. I think I would rather shoot for the jokers or play defense. So let's discard the nine crack. Nine crack, nobody can take it. We've got singles here. As a matter of fact, this player might be able to play a pair hand. The three, six, nine pair hand. This player could probably play the three, six, nine pair hand too. This would be the third from the bottom under singles and pairs. All right, so no one can take that nine crack. We're gonna draw one crack. That would have been helpful if we stuck with that one through five. But alas, we tossed it. Let's draw eight bam. That's a discard. Drawing for this player. There's a six. So I think at this point, we could give up on consecutive run. I think we're much stronger with three, six, nine, or maybe even like numbers with sixes. So let's discard the seven dot and draw. A five, a five dot. Okay, five dot, five crack, five bam. Let's toss the five bam. Six one half dozen the other, but here we're gonna Kong. And we'll discard the three bam. And draw up here, they're not ready for it. And they're probably closest to a pair hand maybe. Or three, six, nine with nines. Let's draw red, we don't need that. Drawing four west, five dot. Let's see, eight bam was tossed, let's throw that and draw for north. White dragon, don't need it. Drawing for east, two bam. What, uh, south, drawing for south. Nope, don't need a seven crack. Nobody can take it, we're gonna draw for west, south. Drawing for north, oh, three bam. We need jokers very badly up there. Let's draw. That is perfect. We need to Pung, Pung, and Mahjong. So let's go ahead and get rid of these tiles. Four dot, they're good to go. Here, let's draw. 
four dot drawing four west one bam I hope they get this five no seven dot drawing for east nine bam here I would not pung that I would stay concealed three six nine with Kongs of nines or a pair hand let's draw oh Joker I don't think we should play the pair hand I think we should commit to three six nine with Kongs of nines Let's leave our options open though and just get rid of the seven bam. And we can draw for west, red dragon. Drawing for north. Oh, three bam. Oh my goodness, they're not drawing. Let's draw for east, flower. I'm gonna get rid of that scary tile and nobody wants it. Six, three, six, nine. Let's just put it back in order and see. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. I think at this point, we're in the middle of the third wall and really towards the end of the third wall. Let's give up the flower at this point and draw here. Three dot. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. 369 with Kongs of sixes. We don't need the seven dot or a bam. Let's throw the seven bam and draw. One dot. Oh my goodness. That came to a screeching halt. Let's draw. North. Drawing for south. Seven dot. Drawing for west. Five dot. Joker bait. We don't need them, and I want to keep my options open. I'm going to throw the five dot, and cringe. We're going to draw seven crack. Drawing four east, two dot. Drawing four south, one bam. Drawing four west, eight crack. Drawing for north, eight bam. That's out. Drawing for east, nine bam. I think that's been thrown, nine bam. Let's draw four south, four bam. We'll discard that. And here we're going to Kong. When you have multiple exposures, put them out in order that you claim the discards for because if we put this in order, it may give other people an idea of what you're playing, but if you keep it out of order, it just takes a little more work to figure out what you're playing. So you don't have to put them in order during the game, but when you win, that's when you put them in order per the card. We're gonna discard the six crack. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Four dot. We just got through the third wall. We're going into the end game. So everybody should really decide whether they're gonna play defense or push to win. Push to win. Three, six, nine with nines, I'd push to win here. We're, we're three away. If you're less than four away from winning in the fourth wall, go for it. Here, three, six, nine with sixes, same situation. Here, they need jokers, but it's a big hand. I would push for everybody. We're gonna draw for west. Now seven crack. Drawing for north, flower. Drawing for east, two dot, wrong suit. Drawing for south, three dot. All right, now we're filling in a little. So let's keep the nine because we could play three, six, nine with nines, but we could also play the concealed hand under 369. This is why you don't want to commit. You want to keep your options open. If we get rid of this, we could play 369, two suits with single sixes. So I think for options, we should keep that. Let's go ahead and discard the six crack, which was recently discarded. And up here we'll draw 
four BAM exchange, please. Thank you very much. We'll discard the five dot and that's going to be a good tile. So here, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, or like numbers with sixes is kind of late in the game actually three six nine with sixes maybe i think next we could give up those and focus on three six nine with sixes let's wait and see all right i'm going to put this back though there's still pair hand potential there, I think. Okay, we're going to draw. We need a joker. Oh, no. Okay, the five dot was discarded. Let's throw that and draw for player one. Two dot again. Ah. Drawing for south. Two dot. Drawing for west. Eight dot. Drawing for north. Eight dot. Drawing for East, Joker, ready to win. Discarding the four crack, nine crack. We're keeping that and we're gonna discard the three crack because now they could play three, six, nine with Kongs of nines. But all the threes are out. Three six nine concealed hand under three six nine, but it is four not because we have mahjong right here. Two three four five. Twenty five point hand. This is the second hand down under consecutive run. This player would owe fifty points. These two would owe 25 points. This player probably would switch to 369 concealed, use this as joker bait, but it's already out, so most likely not going to work. This player could still play the 369 pair hand. I don't think all the nines were out yet. There's one nine out, and then of course the others are there. The threes, though, were here with the winning hand. The sixes, we're going down. I think there's, let's see, I think there's two out. And then up here, we couldn't get jokers, but they got one away. That was kind of a fun game. It's interesting to see these quints. They look so promising, but if you can't get those jokers at the right time, you could be in trouble. It's worth the risk though, in my opinion. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.